Good morning it is Friday and I'm just getting ready for the day as you saw I just did my makeup um, drank a little healthy smoothie that Max made me had my bone broth and now I'm getting ready to do my hair but I wanted to do it with you guys because I got this Dyson if you follow me on TikTok you have seen this whole story play out but Basically, I finally splurged and got the Dyson, and the first few times I had tried, like, my curls just would not hold, and I made a video about it, and people were so silly on TikTok. They, some people were like, it's just your hair, some people were like, it's not supposed to curl, and I'm like, okay, well, then why does it come with two curl attachments? Other people were saying, like, your hair is too healthy to use a Dyson, which... I told my hairstylist that, and she literally, like, laughed out loud. She was like, please do not listen to anyone on TikTok, so... Anyway, I just got my hair done a couple days ago and I got like a bunch more face framing pieces and a little bit more layers and stuff. So I'm excited to try to style it for the first time with like a different haircut. It's not crazy different, but anyway. So I'm gonna use the tips that I learned and we can kind of do my hair together and we'll see if I can do a good job this time. So step one that I learned is about mousse. And I took a shower last night, so my hair is clean, but I did let it air dry while I was sleeping, which is why it looks all, like, crazy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wet it, like, pretty much all the way wet, and put some mousse in it. And then apparently the mousse will help the curls stay a little bit better. I know most people use, like, a squirt bottle, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to wet my brush and just run the water through my hair, and we'll just figure it out I guess maybe I should do like half at a time I think that's probably a good idea okay my hair is all wet now here's the mousse that I'm going to use it's um, a Veda Nutriplenish so I basically just put a bunch in my hand and kind of comb it through and I really try to focus on like the bottom of my hair because that's really where I want the curl to hold and it pretty much won't unless I use this. When I put some on the other side. When I'm using mousse, I have like no gauge on whether or not I'm using like too much or too little. It, I, I, because it like foams up, I'm like, is this a lot? Is this not very much at all? Like... <laughs> I literally don't know so I use like a different amount pretty much every time okay I'm just gonna do a little bit more in my front pieces because oh, they really drive me crazy I want them to hold so I have like those beautiful blowout um, curls in the front okay got that I'm just gonna brush through it to make sure that there's no like moose clumps or something Seriously, if y'all have not tried Bare Bones Bone Broth, like, I love it so much. I'm not paid to say this. I mean, actually, I am working with them on TikTok, but 
I had already bought it and been drinking it for months beforehand and my favorite flavor is beef but they have like beef, chicken, ramen, mushroom, Thai I think or Thai coconut and there's one more but my favorite is the beef one I think it's so good and also I like don't like broth I've never ever tried a broth that I like but I like this one because they have seasonings in it so it actually tastes a little bit more like ramen noodles without the noodles that's kind of how I explain it to people. A little bit less salty. All right, so next, I'm just using a little blow dry attachment. Apparently, the Dyson is supposed to be. Hello? What is that going on there? Oh, it's backwards. So, um, my hair is a little bit too wet right now to go in with the curling attachment. So, I'm just going to do a little rough dry with the blow dry attachment. I think that's good people were saying to blow dry it to like 70 to 80 percent and then use the curl attachment so that's what i'm gonna do so mine came with two and these are the ones where you can change the direction with a little knob but mine came with like a thick barrel and a tapered skinnier barrel and i think i like the skinny one a little bit better i think it holds the curls better i think i'm gonna do it by halves this time and we'll see how that goes Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me just... Ah, better. Okay, sorry, my battery died, so I had to just finish on my own, but... Here's what it looks like. Um, I got done, I did not brush through anything. I'm just trying to let it like cool down and stuff. Um, but you'll see that like these are super tight curls. They will not look like this probably the next time I pick up the camera, I can guarantee it. But I always do it pretty tight and then I let it fall and then I feel like it works out pretty well. Okay, um, I'm just like kind of lightly getting ready for the day. I wanted to fix my hair so that it would look good for a couple days. And I'm just about to go sit at my desk and do some work for the day, but I wanted to give you kind of like an idea, um, an agenda, if you will, of this vlog. It's Friday and my family's coming tonight to visit my mom, dad, my brother, and my sister's coming tomorrow, I think. And we're pretty much going to be celebrating my brother's birthday. Literally? What? I, why can't I get this on? So we're celebrating my brother's birthday and I think we're going to go to like Top Golf and shop around, hang out, just spend time together. I am like so unprepared for having guests. So pretty much today I'm just like cleaning. I have to work my 9 to 5. I have to do a little bit of like video influencer stuff and then I have to run some errands. I have to take my returns because if my parents come and see my returns pile, they will never let me forgive myself for it. I think I need to do a Goodwill donation or a women's shelter. I, I don't exactly know where I'm going yet, but somewhere. So basically, I'm going to vlog the whole weekend. This might be a long vlog. Who knows? I might end up having to cut it up into a couple parts, but we'll see. Um, but I am just going to go sit at my desk and start my work for the day. So I in my office. I'm just going to... Oh, the dreaded sound of a meeting coming up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get my work done for the day and we'll catch up later whenever I quit my 9 to 5 work and start doing everything else. I'm just sitting outside letting my dogs go potty and run around for a little while. And honestly, I haven't been outside all day and I really just wanted like some sunshine and like fresh air. And 
Um, I also wanted to just like briefly mention something that I don't really talk about ever. Um, but it's like, I feel like it's like cliche to talk about it, but it's real and it's like hate on the internet. And I so far have been so incredibly lucky and honestly everyone who follows me is so nice and so kind and I like truly I feel like I have the sweetest nicest little corner of the internet and I'm like really grateful for that because I know a lot of people don't have that experience and like all of a sudden this week I have been getting like so many hate comments kind of like out of nowhere and I try to like not read them and ignore them honestly most of the time if I see a hate comment on my video I block it like I do not tolerate it I will block them and delete it immediately even if I can sense like the tiniest bit of hate I, it's gone like you cannot see myself anymore um, but I've been getting stitched by people and the people who stitch me mean well they I, no one has stitched me and like said anything mean to me but then the people comment on those videos and say really mean things like hateful things like I told the story of how me and Max met and a bunch of people it was he was my trainer we, were, we worked out at the same gym and he was my trainer that's how we met how we started dating yada yada and people were like commenting and saying that he was like predatory and saying that he was manipulative and saying that it sounds like the beginning of an abusive relationship and I was like I'm sorry what so anyway that was like the first slew of weird hate comments that I got um, and then a couple days ago someone actually stitched a video of me because I was having a hard time styling trousers someone stitched the video and was like a stylist and she was genuinely giving me advice and it was so nice like she delivered it so kindly and so help like she, it truly was helpful and then it like kind of popped off like I think she has like 20,000 followers and this video has like last night it had 400,000 views and that was in like one day so god knows where it is now um and then all these people were like yeah clearly she has no idea what she's doing talking about me trying to turn trying to basically they were just trying to make it seem like this lady was like ripping me to shreds and like my style and all that stuff which like that's not what she was doing and she did defend me on some comments but some people were like commenting on my body shape my body type and how my clothes fit me and i've never experienced that before and unfortunately i woke up first thing this morning and that's what i saw which is like one of the million reasons i should not pick up my phone and open tiktok first thing in the morning but it's like really sucky when you start your day off reading things like that about yourself because then it like sets the tone for the day and like that's obviously not a good tone for today um so kind of just been like mentally fighting off those comments and those thoughts throughout the day today which again like i said i haven't really had to deal with before and honestly i, I like i think i'm doing fine but it's just something new that i haven't really had to deal with before that i'm you know gonna have to navigate especially if i want to put my whole life on the internet which i do i do honestly if i could block people that from from commenting on other people's stitches of me i would but i think i might just turn off the stitch thing because that's the only time that i ever get hate is when people who don't know me comment on my stuff so i think i might just turn it off and then problem solved for now hold on i have to show you this Roof, are you okay? <laughs> also, look how good my hair looks today. I'm really figuring out this Dyson situation. What I will say is it it always feels like really tangly whenever I use the Dyson. So if you have a tip for that, let me know. I just finished work for the day. It's about five o'clock and um, my family will be here around like eight o'clock, I think. So that means that I have three hours to run to the grocery store. Ugh, I was gonna do some returns, but 
It's already five o'clock. I wonder what time UPS closes. I really don't want to do it today. Also, I need to film some TikToks because I ha haven't filmed any today. Um, and I have some new Amazon stuff to try on. And then, yeah. Luckily, Max is a freaking angel and like cleaned everything um, in the kitchen and like got a lot of stuff ready, cleaned the bathroom. He like didn't just clean the toilet. He literally cleaned around the around the bottom of the toilet and like the floor and stuff. And if you know, you know. I'm sorry to any men that are in the room hearing this. Um, you just never do a good job cleaning the toilet. And whenever we want the toilet cleaned, it means that we want you to get around the toilet, the whole toilet, the inside, the outside, the floor, all of it. I don't know why men just usually don't do that kind of job. But luckily, Max did. He actually did. He cleaned the whole toilet. And, you know, it's a little rant for today, but <clears throat> I'm grateful. For the next three hours, I'm going to be running around like a crazy woman trying to clean everything because you know how it is when your parents come to town and they stay with you and then all of a sudden you notice like all the dirt that you normally don't notice and like the little specks of like you know spilled things and dog hair and whatever else that you normally would never notice but now you notice it because you know that your mom's gonna notice So I just picked up those packages from the front porch. They were Amazon packages and I was really excited to film and share this new sweat set. It's like this fleece material. Let me see if you can see it in the light. You can, can kind of see it. Um, but I got some the sweats and the top. It's an Amazon brand called Amazon The Drop. And I think I like it, but I'm like breaking a sweat just filming a video. And so it kind of makes me think, that I maybe can't wear and maybe I don't like it because I don't really if I break a sweat just like talking to a video I don't think I'll ever be able to wear these <laughs> like uh, that's like this is the most low effort thing possible and I'm literally sweating so I think they might be a little bit too thick and too hot and a little unrealistic I'm gonna try them on again tomorrow and see if I change my mind but I just don't want to share something and be like oh my god this is so great the quality the they're perfect, go buy it. And then like, I don't actually wear it because if you know me and you've been following me on TikTok for a while, you know, I am not about that. I share honest opinions and I only share stuff that I actually like. So I'm gonna hold off on sharing these and try to figure out if I actually like them before I recommend them. My guest bedroom is currently the worst it has ever been. I cannot believe that I'm sharing this on the internet and how horrible it is, but I have like an hour to get this under control. <sighs> I know, all the coats ended up on the bed. Like all the extra rugs are in here. Don't know what this is. More rugs, blankets. Like it's just a disaster. Also fun fact, my grandmother painted this and I just think it is so precious and I love it but anyway gonna tackle this disaster of a room and hopefully I can get it done in time you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it all back in the box in the closet <laughs> I already changed my mind I'm gonna try to fit them in this closet there's not a lot of room but I think maybe I can make it work That actually worked out so nicely because now I have a coat closet. I thought it was gonna be a tight fit, but like we have plenty of room. That's a disaster, but up here looks nice. Okay, gonna finish it up. Okay, it definitely looks a lot cleaner and it's tidied. This guest bedroom is like something that I've literally struggled with since we moved in. I just cannot decide how to decorate it. I like the bedding that it's just clean and simple. 
I like the nightstands because they're like functional. Like they have these little USB ports, which I think is really good for guests. I don't love these black sconces because of the wire, but at this point it's too late because I've already hung them on the wall. And then I don't really like the brown, but the brown matches my grandmother's painting. So I don't want to get rid of it, but I think I'm just going to get her painting reframed with like a nicer, a little bit more modern frame. That way I can still keep it and it like matches my aesthetic. We're making moves. Okay, the house is clean enough and now we're just gonna head to the grocery store and grab a few things, but I'm wandering around my house trying to find my phone. It was Max's fault. He had his clothes on top of it. What a chaotic vlog this has turned out to be. Bye puppies. We've left our house. No, I don't wanna drive. If you watched the last vlog, you know. I'm the pet princess now. Anyway. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave it there. We don't do anything except for drive when we drive a vehicle. Max gets so mad at when I'm watching vloggers and they are vlogging and driving at the same time. It's not safe, it's dangerous. He gets so, so mad. Which I personally, I understand if you're, if you're driving and you have like, if you're holding the vlog camera, or whatever, I totally agree, but if you're just, if it's just on the dash like that and you're just driving, just on your merry way, talking. We've left the house twice this week after 6 p.m. What? Who are we? <laughs> we had to make a little mini grocery haul and get some cheese curds for my dad because he is obsessed with these specific cheese curds and he has to have them all the time. And then we got obviously like junk food snacks these cookies are literally so good i love them and they're really healthy they they have all clean ingredients it's not gonna focus and then these these are my favorite sweet treat these ice cream sandwiches are so good i will say they're only like half the size of a regular one so it's kind of a joke of a sandwich but whatever and then some little goodies Good morning, it is Saturday morning and we're just getting ready to go play Top Golf. But I wanted to show you my outfit because I'm kind of struggling with it. it please ignore my bed, I'm just not making it today. Um, but these are the Levi's Low Pro jeans. I got them on Amazon for a really good deal. And they have like a little bit more of a baggy fit, but it's like a mid-rise. And I have not owned a mid-rise jean since like probably middle school. So I'm kind of torn on them. I think I'm gonna keep them and just like attempt to style them and wear them because I do like them. They're just out of my comfort zone. So anyway, here's my outfit. This trench coat is from Amazon. The quality is so good. It's such a good trench coat. I like 10 out of 10 recommend this. And then this little shirt underneath is Skims Cotton Jersey. This is my favorite black shirt because it's so soft and like fitted and it's just so flattering. Especially the length, like nothing ever hits me at the right length and this one does. And then I'm just wearing my Converse platforms. These are probably my most worn shoes. I wear them with pretty much every outfit because they go with everything. And I always wear black, so win-win. But I think the plan for today is just, we're gonna go play top off. And then I think we're gonna go to like a guitar store because my brother really, he's like a guitar player. He loves guitars. He has so many. And we're gonna go there for him so he can kind of check that out. And then I think we're gonna go to the mall and just kind of bop around all day and hang out. And usually every time my parents visit, we go to some antique store. Like we love going to antique stores together and like thrifting. So there's a good chance that we'll end up at one, but maybe not. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I feel like my legs are gonna fall off if I play top golf and then go to the mall and then go thrifting. That's like, that is, I work from home. I sit on my butt all day. My, my legs are not used to that. <laughs> Also, if you follow me on TikTok or if you just saw my YouTube short, I asked everyone who has like light hair and light eyes if they wear mascara on the bottom because literally my whole life I've been struggling with like putting mascara on the bottom. Sometimes I feel like it's too contrasted or it like makes my eyes look a little bit droopy. And so many people just recommended not doing mascara on the bottom and doing like a darker smudged eyeshadow. So as you can see, I did like... Um, 
I did like a rusty brown color and just a little bit and I feel like it made the blue in my eyes pop like crazy and it was like literally I'm obsessed so I'm gonna keep doing it maybe I'll try out some like darker colors and different shades and figure out what works and what doesn't but 10 out of 10 recommendation I cannot believe I haven't been doing this sooner like I'm almost 30 years old and I never knew this so at least they learned sometime I literally forgot my camera in the car all day. I like didn't take it out one time. I failed at vlogging the weekend. <laughs> now it is Sunday night. We had a really fun day on Saturday. We went to Top Golf and we went to the mall and just shopped all day. I did not buy a single thing, which just it was kind of a bummer. Like I really wanted to buy something and I just couldn't find anything that I liked. Mostly because I'm just like an Amazon girl. Oh my gosh, you scared me. I thought I had a ghost. Not a mall person, so. Anyway, it was so fun though, like hanging out with my family for the whole day. And then today, we hung out at the house, like literally in pajamas all day long. It was so much fun. We cooked like a really yummy breakfast and just hung out, watched Hallmark movies and just got to visit. And it was just really nice to visit with my family. And I did plan on vlogging today, but I was like, there, there was nothing to vlog. Like we literally sat on the couch and drank coffee the whole day. But everyone is gone and the house is a mess. Um, but I think we're gonna clean it all tomorrow and have like a really productive Monday tomorrow. It's gonna be kind of like a, a Sunday reset on a Monday with all the other things that have to go on on a Monday. So it's gonna be a pretty busy day. I think I'm just gonna vlog tomorrow and do like a full Monday productive vlog. Tonight before I go to bed, I just wanna do something for myself. And so I've been wanting to tint my eyebrows because I don't know if you can really see them, but my eyebrows are pretty blonde and I like to tint them at least once a month, but I, I don't think I've done it in maybe two months, honestly. And they're just getting pretty light. And so I need to tint them. It doesn't take very long either, so that's really nice. This is the brand that I get on Amazon. It's in my storefront, but I'll link it in the description too. I think I've had this kit for like two years. I really, really like it. So many of my friends and my family have bought it because I recommended it, and they all like it too, so. They have a lot of different shades, but I get the medium brown. And honestly, something to keep in mind with this stuff is like it is only going to tint for as long as you leave it on. So even if you were to get like the black tint, if you don't leave it on for very long, it's not going to turn your eyebrows like solid black. And even with this medium brown one that I have, if I were to leave it on for too long, they would look black. Like, it's kind of just however long you leave it on. So, I actually have two. It comes with a little bag of capsules. I only have two left. So, it's time for me to buy some more. But this is what the capsule looks like. It's just like a pill. You literally just break it and dump it into a little bowl like this. It actually comes with a little mini bowl. But mine got thrown away a long time ago. Then it comes with this developer. And you put just about the same amount of developer in the bowl as you did your powder. So I'm going to do like that much. And then mine came with this little angled brush, which I literally would not be able to do this without this angled brush. Then you just mix it all up. Okay, here's what it looks like once I've mixed it up. It doesn't look like very much because it's not a lot, but it's like all spread out in a little bowl. So before you put this on your eyebrows, make sure that you have some Q-tips a timer, and a wet washcloth. I get a little bit of the dye on my angled brush, and then I just go in and trace my eyebrow.
obviously it's really messy which is why you need your q-tip and you just clean up the edges because it will dye your skin and then i'm going to start my timer it's on one minute there's an instruction book at the end of that will tell you how long but i've just learned that a minute looks pretty good on me and then i'll take it off and then if i need to go longer i'll put it on some more but you always want to like err on the side of less versus more because one time i did make my eyebrows look like i had sharpened them on and it was <laughs> so bad I just do one eyebrow at a time to make sure that they have the exact same amount of time on them. Okay, compared to my other one, it's like a tiny bit darker. But yeah, I gotta do it again. That was not enough. Let's see if this is any better. Okay, to me it's noticeably darker. I don't know if to anyone else it's noticeably darker, but... I think it's time to get new tablets because it's just not working as well as it used to. Imagine if it like permanent markered my face like this and it didn't come off and it ended up this dark. I would honestly take myself right to the hair salon and get this fixed. Please work. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay, now this one is a tiny bit darker than this one. So I gotta do this one more time. What a process. I thought it was gonna be like a five minute ordeal. I just finished my eyebrows. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit like they're too dark, but I think it's just because my hair is also blonder from getting it done last week. And my eyebrows are darker, so the contrast is just throwing me off a little bit. But I think they will look really great once I have, like, my makeup on and my, like, dark mascara. It'll kind of balance it, and I'll be fine. Also, it's going to fade anyway, so whatever. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog here. Um, I had a really good weekend, and I had so much fun at Topgolf. Like, I'm really bummed that I forgot to bring my camera not just to like put it in my vlog, but also just to document it and like having time with my family. I just love that I get to put stuff like that on camera and like rewatch it later. I think it's so special. I also feel so much better that I did something for myself. Like just, just the simple act of tinting my eyebrows. Well, it isn't a lot. I literally didn't do a single thing for myself all weekend. I was a host. So I was like, you know, in host mode and just making sure that everyone was good and everyone was happy and you know making sure that everyone had food and making sure we went to the stores everyone wanted to go to it's probably why i went shopping and didn't buy myself anything because i just wanted everyone else to have fun so anyway felt really good to just do something for myself and then tomorrow we're gonna get up and have like a super productive day and do everything else that i feel like i should have done tonight but just didn't have the energy to do but thanks for watching this vlog and keep your eye out for the next vlog going up in a few days Thank you for being here. I know I say it in all my videos, but like, I just can't believe that people watch my videos. It's just so fun and so cool. And I'm just like so grateful that anyone is even interested in watching videos about my life. It's just nuts. But anyway, thanks everyone. I love my dogs, I love food, I love Max, I love walking, I love Amazon and Amazon hauls and TikTok and loafers, but not haters. <laughs>